How can you know that you are growing spiritually? Hey everyone, welcome back to Be Better On Purpose with Dr. Darrell L. Jones. Thank you so much for visiting my YouTube channel. Here on Be Better On Purpose with Dr. Darrell L. Jones, we release a new video almost every day. And today I want to encourage you to ask yourself regularly to be sure that you are growing spiritually. Am I a consumer or a contributor? Notice the writer says, by this time you ought to be teachers. And the Greek word for time is chronos, which refers to a span of time. The Greek word ought means obligation. So he is essentially saying, because of the amount of time that has elapsed since you've been a Christian, you are obligated to now be able to teach others and you should be teaching others. So my question is, am I coming to church every week primarily to consume or am I contributing by teaching others and sharing my wisdom, my experiences, my successes, failures, and contributing to the disciple making process? And then you must ask, am I eating meat or am I drinking milk? Notice he says, you need milk, not solid food. For everyone who lives on milk is unskilled in the word of righteousness since he is or she is a child. Milk demonstrates dependence. In the same way that a baby needs their mother for milk, a young baby Christian cannot feed themselves independently from their pastors and their teachers. Milk is a picture of the elementary teachings about the Christian faith. It's what every baby needs in order to grow. And what the author is saying is that good at the beginning of your walk as a Christian, but there comes a time in the natural courses of spiritual growth that you should become interested in learning the deeper aspects of the Christian faith, which by the way will help you become more equipped to be a contributor rather than a consumer. And finally, milk is pre-digested food. By the time you get to church, the pastor has already eaten, chewed on, and digested that food and is ready to give it to you. Because God wants you to have the same experience the pastors and teachers are having. God wants to give you fresh food and a fresh revelation for yourself. Am I able to discern truth from error? Are you able to discern truth from error? Notice he says, but solid food is for the mature, for those who have their powers of discernment trained by constant practice to distinguish good from evil. Am I able to spot false teaching when I hear it? Are you able to spot false teaching when you hear it? Notice again that the writer says the only way to do this is by constant use of practice. Because there are so many false teachings in our churches today. And the best way to spot a counterfeit bill is not to study all of the counterfeit bills, but rather we should study the true dollar bill so that anything you see that is different, you automatically know it's counterfeit. So if you want to be discerning, don't spend time studying other religions. Study the word of God 
and then you'll be able to quickly discern truth from error because when we don't do this, Paul says that when we do not have discernment, we are like infants tossed back and forth by every wind of doctrine because a baby will put anything in its mouth. If you ever been around children, especially babies, toddlers, you know that you have to watch their mouth and their hands all the time because they will put anything in their mouth. Our ability to discern false teaching when we hear it is an indication that we are growing spiritually. Hey, family and friends, I talk about this subject quite often because I am convinced that Bible study is the primary way a Christian grows spiritually. I've written some blogs, I have some books available, and I've done a lot of sermons and videos designed to maximize our understanding of God's word. As a matter of fact, our church is called Champions for Christ because that means that we are making disciples. And by us saying Champions for Christ is our way of saying disciples of Christ because a disciple of Christ exhibits a victorious lifestyle. I would love to hear which of these questions you are struggling with personally. Leave it in the comment sections below or send me an email at bebetteronpurpose at gmail.com. So let me encourage, inspire, and motivate you to find out how you are growing spiritually. If you are maturing spiritually and some of the steps that you can do and take so that you can be sure that you are growing spiritually. Find you a church that is committed to teaching the word of God and one that you can experience the blessing of true, genuine, authentic community. Let me invite you to visit my website at www.bebetteronpurpose.com and connect with me on Facebook at www.facebook.com backslash Dr. Darrell L. Jones and follow me on Twitter at www.twitter.com backslash Dr. DJ Relate and you can follow me on Instagram as well at Be Better On Purpose. And please subscribe to this YouTube channel www.youtube.com backslash c backslash be better on purpose with dr daryl l jones and book me to speak at your next event by emailing me at be better on purpose at gmail.com well until we're together again be better on purpose with Dr. Daryl L. Jones.